So this YouTube Shorts channel, it gained 600,000 subscribers and 215 million views, only uploading videos that can be created entirely with AI. And what's even crazier about this, though, is that they've only uploaded like 11 videos in total, meaning that they got an average of 20 million views per video. So today I'll show you how to copy their strategy and generate videos just like theirs, so that you can also tap into this opportunity. You know, while it still works. But Zach, everybody knows you can't make much money in short. Well, the fact that people actually believe that BS is really funny. Because in reality, about two years ago, YouTube released a new program that pays shorts creators around up to 60 cents per thousand views, now counting with a fairly low RPM, much lower than 60 cents. This channel made at least $133,000 from posting just 11 videos made with AI. So literally, with AI, you don't need to have masters in it. Anyone with brains can do it. All right, let's start. The first step you need is to find a niche for the videos. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing the animals fighting each other niche, since this channel went really viral with it, and they're creating videos where two animals are being put up against each other, and then the winner of that fight is put up in a new fight. Now for creating the videos. The first thing you have to do is to create a video idea. And yep, you guessed it. For this, I'm going to use ChatGPT as always. So I asked ChatGPT to generate five fights between these animals and to pick a winner from each fight to get the same video structure as they have and to make sure that GPT understands what I want. I also included an example of a fight between a lion and an elephant. Now you might want to also include that you don't want it to write a script for the video since we won't be using a voiceover. Then go ahead and hit generate and ChatGPT will generate exactly what we're looking for. Now that the structure of the video is ready, it's time to create the visuals. There are many AI tools out there that you can use, but I personally like to use Leonardo AI since it's very easy to use, and they also have a free plan where you'd have 150 credit per day, which is more than enough for these videos. But before you, we generate the images. Head back over to ChatGPT and ask it to generate a prompt by typing in this box something that looks like this. Basically, we're asking it to generate a prompt that we can use in Leonardo to create close-up images of each animal. So we're telling it to generate one text prompt for each animal that we can use in Leonardo to create these close-up images. And the goal with the images is to make the animals look as scary as possible. And in just a few seconds, it'll give you this super in-depth prompt that's better than you'd ever be able to write yourself. Once you're on this page, click on the big button in the middle that says Image Creation. And here you can paste your prompt into this text box and Leonardo is going to turn it into an image. However, you first want to make sure that you have the right settings or else it may come out. You know, like pretty weird. Now the channel I showed you in the beginning used visuals that looked very realistic. So to get the same style, I set the preset to Cinematic Kino, but you can also use lifelike vision. And if you remember the intro of the video, it started off with the two images of the animals that are fighting each other in a little text box that says verses. So for both images to fit on the screen, at the same time, you need to set the image. Dimensions to 1 1. Once you've got the settings in place, all you got to do is click generate to turn the first prompt into the first pick. So wait a couple of seconds and you'll have an image with the exact same style as in the reference video. Then you want to go back to ChatGPT, generate the second prompt, and repeat this process until you've gone through all of them. Now repeat the same process, but instead write in the prompts that you need the winning animal on top of the others. Now the final step is to edit the whole video together. For this, I like to use CapCut, since it's free and easy to use. Now import all the visuals, start off by adding two close-up images of the animals in the first fight. And if you don't remember which animals it is, just go back to ChatGPT and look at the fights it generated before. In this case, the first one was the lion and the elephant. But there's a bit of a problem because since we're going to post these videos on short form platforms, it's super important that the video is in the right format, 9 by 16. So to fix this, click on this little button that says ratio and change it to the vertical format. All you got to do now is to adjust the size of them so that each image is covering half of the screen. And once it looks something like this, you can add the images of those two animals fighting. Like this, you don't have to do much more with this one for now. But before moving on to the other visuals, you want to add a text box that says versus in the middle of the first two images. Just click on text in the top left corner and add a new text box to the timeline. Adjust the length of it so that it's only being shown during this part. Then write verses in the text box and place it in the center of the screen. Oh yeah, and last thing I think that the standard font that CapCut is using looks pretty cheap. So I'm going to change it to a thicker and more bold font. Like this one from here, you're basically just going to repeat the exact same process with the other images. So first two images of the animals individually followed by the full screen image of them fighting. Now to not make this video hours long, 
going to get back to you once I've done all of it. I'll add transitions between clips so the video doesn't get boring. Right now, the cuts between the images look pretty rough. So to make it more smooth, we want to add some kind of transition. So if you go ahead and click on this button in the top, you'll access tons of pre-made transitions to choose from. Now you can choose pretty much whatever one you like. For example, I thought this one looked good. So I'll just drag it down between the first two clips and add it throughout the entire video, which is going to make it a lot more engaging to look at. So go ahead and repeat this process of dragging the transition down between all the clips. Now, if you look closer towards the images, you'd notice that they have this nice zoom and zoom out effect. For this, just simply add any of the pre-made cap cut effects to the video. There are plenty of effects you can choose from, but just make sure the one you use suits with your video. Done? Not yet. Here's where people actually think that they are done, but actually they're not. They are forgetting the most important thing for a good video. Adding background music. Adding background music will make the video more entertaining and exciting. For this, I'd like to use Epidemic Sounds since it has a very large amount of copyright-free music you can use. It's also super easy to find where you're looking for since they've categorized the songs by theme, mood, and genres. Now for this video, I want to go with some kind of beat with a lot of bass. So to find a song like this, I'm just going to open up the beat category and choose whatever song I want to. Now, once you've found one, go ahead and click on this button and it'll be downloaded to your computer. Now, what I found after looking around for a bit was a standard beat that I've now added to the timeline and cap cut. Oh, and by the way, a small bonus trick that you can implement that's going to make a huge difference is to match the cuts in the video with the beat of the song, for example. You know, every time the bass hits, you make a cut to do this, you want to adjust the length of the clips so that every time there's a cut, it matches. Once you're done, export the video and make sure you put the setting to 60 frames per second and 1080 pixels so that the video doesn't come out lagging or with bad quality. Now let's see the final result. And there you go, there you have it your first ever AI generated short. Go give yourself a round of applause. This is a bigger milestone than you think. This is what ends up making people money online, but that can only be done if you put your head down and start now. Don't go skipping from video to video about ways to make money online and stop Aww. crying telling yourself how much of a loser you are. Now, since you've watched the video and understood the idea, go watch the video again a create your first AI video by following my steps step by step. Also, it's not just about video or one week. It's about having consistency and uploading high quality videos every day. It might seem hard at first, but once you start making money, you will thank me for this. But maybe you don't want to create these animals matchups. Maybe you want to create something else. Don't worry, I've already uploaded two other video teaching you guys how to make Disney Pixar animated shorts like these, but that's not it. I've uploaded a video teaching you how to create these motivational anime with very easy steps. Go watch the video so you don't miss out. Before we end the video, guys, I would really appreciate if you guys like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and share the video to your friends so they don't miss out. Yeah, guys, subscribe because almost 70% of you guys how watch the videos don't subscribe. That's pretty much it. I'm leaving. Peace.